I couldn't figure out how to draw better any more than I, when I worked with Tex Avery, you know, I was one of his animators. And when I became a director, it never occurred to me to try to imitate Tex because I couldn't understand how he did it in the first place. He was unique. He was, he was a unique person and he pursued animation in a way that nobody else did. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, he wasn't interested in character. There was only one character that he made in the whole time that was the Sustains and that, of course, was Little Droopy. And I'll, get, I'll tell anybody a secret about that. If you want to talk like Droopy, it's very simple because the, the animator, that, I mean, the man that did the voice went like this and he said, you know what, you know what? I'm the hero of this picture. <laughs> and that's the way you do it. And yeah, yeah, I defy anybody to hold yourself like this and, and, and talk, you know, and say, I, I do things like this to him all the way through the picture. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Keep your voice flat and level and you become that. But Tex wasn't interested in that. What he was interested in was anything that could, that could express himself not in explosive terms. People tried to imitate Tex Avery by making everything violent. But every one of the pictures, his pictures started out smoothly and evenly. And then, it, but you knew, like watching a ammunition truck, you know, you knew there was going to be an explosion, but you didn't know when. So you follow through all the way through, and then at the end of that, why he would suddenly do exactly. Now, when, when that more magnificent piece of animation that was done by Preston Blair, that girl, that wasn't rotoscope. He, he studied that to make that girl the way she was. He was a brilliant animator. Worked for Tex, and he did that. And, and Tex said that when he felt and saw her going like that, what he tried to do was transpose the ex ecstasy of a boy first discovering sex into, into visual movement. And so he said, when, this, when, when the guy comes like this and his eyes pop out and they go over and look at the girl and come back and get in his eyes and so on, and he lights a cigarette and it comes back and it burns all the way up there and then burns through his head and all. <laughs> God, it's marvelous. Yeah. But he could carry film thing. And you know, recently when they, when they did the mask, uh, after all, practically every gag in there was Ted X Avery. When his tongue came rolling out like this and then rolled back up again in the mask, Tex did that 30, 40, 50 years ago. It doesn't matter. They, they, all this is open. Everybody has the right to use any other artist. Uh, we all stand atop every other artist that ever lived. 